I have an obsession with the older Dell Optiplexes. They can be had for about $38. You can usually get them with the free shipping. And there's only a couple of upgrades that can be done with them that are fairly cheap. The 4 gig RAM upgrade on the eBay special. The Core 2 Quad Processing upgrade that is also pretty cheap. Uh, this video really isn't about uh, those upgrades, though. If you're interested in that, you can YouTube it. There's plenty of video of those uh, around the old YouTube. Um, this is about adding more powerful Silverstone SFX 300 watt power supply and mounting it using a 3D printed adapter and then putting a double height mini graphics card into the Optiplex. This will let you upgrade it past the GTX 1050 Ti wall. Um, the graphics card fits using a riser that you can buy with this thing for it um, with the guts removed. And the, uh, the power supply helps with the heat problems that other users are having by exhausting heat out the back end of the case. But first, I'll have to take apart the riser card. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Just the, uh, the normal shot, the sped up shot of me taking uh, this riser card apart. It only has four bolts when I do it. They, they're pretty stuck in there, so I actually had to use a little bit of leverage to get them out. Um, once you undo it, you just pull it free. And that's all the metal the new graphics card. Is the old Dell Optiplex 360. That's a 3D printed uh, cover for this CD drive mounted fan I've made for that guy. I don't worry about that too much. Solid state drive. Another solid state drive. We've got a, a bay mounted to that old uh, floppy drive bay right there. I'm struggling to take the case apart. There we go. What that is, it's just some, some random piece of item just, just fell in there. It's the old Silverstone, and I got a 650Ti for the graphics card. Uh, it's a form factor mini. And uh, as you can see, I already have one mounted. I accidentally bought two of those riser cards, um, so I'm just showing you where it goes. I am, however, going to take it apart real quick for you. I also had a wireless card in there. Right, that's a little PCI one on there. That took yeah, a little bit of effort getting that separated. I had to actually film it a couple times. It's a little bit fidgety. Pull a little power cable out. That's really important because the original power supply doesn't have that, so you can't put any uh, powered graphics cards in there. And I just pointed at the uh, PCI Express ribbon extender in there that you need to actually fit all that in there to get it to work right. Um, the original one actually has, the, the original riser card board actually has all of that. It's just that uh, you can't fit both because it's only for one one bay, I guess, or like one part of that PCI Express portion, but if you take the whole thing out and just use the ribbon cable, you'll be able to fit a double height card in it. Which are pretty much the standard now. Everything's in double height. Um, I'm not going to skip over that fan I just showed you. I, I especially made that for the heat problems I, I saw the other YouTube users having. Um, and pretty much once it reaches a certain temperature, it, it exhausts it out the front. I didn't need it. Because the power supply is already doing it for me. Mounting. 
not even really easy. You don't have to screw anything in. You just use that glue clip there at the top. Just you fit it in there. There it is. And then theoretically, you can slide it all in there. Slide it all in there. There we go. Fit it in there. There it is. It's a six pin four graphics cards. Like I said, the, uh, the new power supply actually lets you put that in there. The original one does not have that. That's one of the reasons for this mod. Let you put in a more powerful graphics card. Alright, let's go back in. Difficulty with that. It's mostly getting it behind the shroud, but into the PCI. It's a bit of a bear. I think that's a TP Link uh, PCI wireless card. It's alright. It's okay. It's blue man. It's a good shot at the top of the actual pre printed adapter for that power supply. It's the one you'll actually find on uh, the uh, thing first. I'll leave a link in the description that we'll have where you can download that at. Turn it out for yourself if you're looking to do this mod. Home office. Props to anybody can guess what that painting is in the background. There's the specs to prove that it's a quad core with four gigs of RAM. And getting to the point of all this, I'd speed this up because no one's really interested in watching loading screens. So I sped up the actual first part of this. The Call of Duty Infinite Warfare with Jon Snow in space. I haven't actually played it all the way through. I think it looks good. I think it's got a bad rap. I'm pretty much down for any Call of Duty game, right? Uh, it, run, it, run, it runs pretty good. Right up front, though, it jams a lot. Or, like, has some real bad stuttering, but uh, once it gets going, you know, once it heats up a little bit, there's a little bit of momentum. And it runs real good. Um, surprisingly, even on that old graphics card, um, my hopes would be to be able to put like a 1060 into this thing, like a GTX 1060, and see what you can really push it to. But I just don't really have the funds to buy that right now. And, you know, I'm, I'm not quite ready for the, the title of having the world's most powerful Dell Act like GTX uh, 360. It's, uh, you know, uh, I'm looking for it. If you're out there, I'm coming for it. But uh, really, that's just about it. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a link to the uh, adapter. I, I designed that. Uh, it'll be on Thingiverse if anybody's willing to attempt this. Um, the rest of this is just actually footage of me uh, playing through the game. Like I said, it smooths out in reality. Like, for some reason, like right in front, I was having some issues. When you come into big open areas, uh, it has some like stuttering issues. I imagine because it can't load those, can't load all the. Um, you know, the, the, the graphics, the whatever you need for the bigger open areas, but enclosed areas don't seem to be as much of an issue. Um, the frame rate's not too bad. More than playable. Um, later on in the video, you'll see that I, I open up to show everything's pretty much on medium settings. I attempted it on high, but the frame rates per second were like next to nothing. And lightly still playable, but... Um, not really, not, not in really real capacity, but medium it range is fine. And if you lower everything real down, it, you know, it plays about, kind of almost the same as this. It still stutters here and there. Uh, really, that's about it. Uh, you know, if you actually watched this video, I appreciate it. And if not, no worries, you didn't see this. This video will keep going like this for a while. It's just a quick playthrough of the, uh, I think that's not even the opening level. I think it's like the second level or something. Thanks. Thanks for watching.